Hey there peeps, welcome back to the channel. I am Parky Pete and today oh, we're playing Hellblade, Senna was Sacrifice. The last episode we got through the gates of Hell. Got attacked by Hella, or what could have been Hella, it was a giant. And then we've been on a quest to find Jillian, who is supposedly at the tree, but well, he's not here right now. The last episode was absolutely draining, but I'm I'm recording this back to back with the last one. I just wanted to carry on. I wanted to see how Senua's story unfolds, and that is the sign of a great game. Let's see what this uh, stone has to say to us. I assume something, or maybe not. It looks like there should be something there, though. Hmm. Is there another stone anywhere about? Surely that's something. Yeah. Death for Sigmund and his brother seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister. And she begs for mercy. And implores the king to chain them up instead. Yeah, be be good, King. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns wow. ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. I will never guess what happens. He's right. Yeah, so these look like there should be lore stones like that. Oh, let's find out what happened to Sigmund. As the she-wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, he bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted. And they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan. One that is cold of heart. And pure of blood. Hello. Take his sword. A sword. Oh. Take it. Tell him that to me. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Um. Um. What's happening? Senua, imagine a sword that can slay gods. <laughs> yes, I'll it's take that sword. Is Gram. It was forged by the god of all Northmen. Odin and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I Take the sword. the sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It what? shattered into shards long ago. It is said the great warrior can reforge Gram by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. So I'm gonna it's take on the trials of Odin. I'll take you to new the trials. Go to the shard. Go to the shard. Go to the shard. What's the shard? Find it. Come on. It's the metal from the stones. Come on, Senawa. The runes. You need that sword. Go to the shard. Oh, maybe I'm not supposed to go there. 
Okay. Okay, so we're taking on Odin and his trials. Where is it? Find it. There it is. Focus. 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 Hello, Shard. Look. Get closer. What can you see? Go to it. I want it's to tell you a story about a god of the Northland called Baldur. Baldur. The second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wow. And there's a light there. Is this Dillian helping us through the trials? Trials of Odin. Can I push that? Yes. What does it see? These masks can change. There's no way it's going to be that simple, though. Yeah, that door's locked. What are you going to say to the Tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams, night after night. Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. I didn't realize Loki was the father of Hela. Hmm, that's new to me. You can find You need the runes to find Dillian. Okay, so I need Well, that symbol. So I assume I can't get through their eyes are chained up now. Right. So I'm gonna have to look through this mask. She will. And well, I assume something else will change because we didn't actually get to look at the world that much before we changed it into this lovely one. So we're gonna go back into the nasty realm. So the gates open in this one. Okay. Let's go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. It doesn't matter if it's not safe. We've got to go through. Dillion, there he is. Dillion. Oh, the tree's gone. She's in the wrong world. He's not in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. The dark world. The world once oh. seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. 
Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Senna explored new paths into the unknown. Uh, yeah, I want to see what this uh, law stone has to say to us as well. I was just letting the narrator narrate. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. So the mistletoe cannot... Um, so Baldur can die to mistletoe. Open the gate. Yes. Okay, so now we'll be able to go back through to the nasty world and get all the way through. Oh. Okay then. I found the. Well, how Senna was going to sort this crap out. There we go. The ray of light. Come on. Do you remember? He's gone. He's the way dark world. Touch you. He's gone so I can just go through here. The wrong world. Come on. Shazam. Come on. Open the door. Yes. Gillian? Gillian's up there now. He's up there. Cursed. Come on. There is a way up there. Is this a new law stone? You're nearly there. She find you. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe. Yeah. And goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Hun, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taken part. Hoth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Hoth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Hood is slain. So Loki killed Baldur. He led you astray. You should have listened to your father when you had the chance. Wait. Okay, so, we've got to get up there. And focus is going to be a key part of it. So you can see now, the stairs pretty much fixed. We focus and they are fixed. So it's just an illusion. Just part of Odin's trial. So hopefully we can go up now and get uh, the Dillion. Dillion. My boy. And he's gone. You. Right, so what's this law stone saying? Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw Oh, we've heard this one. The blind god, Hood, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Hood says, I cannot see where Baldur yes, is. She passed since she oh. left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. Ah, oh, so is this how we see the... Intuition that made her an exceptional uh, 
couple of bits. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past. And Dillian. Her future. Two realities. Tearing at her soul. I just want to see if there's any way that... Um, we can get some of those icons while we're here now, before looking through the mask. Yes, there's clearly something here. Telling me these trials mean nothing. Ah, so that's broken. So that's where the other mask is going to come in. Surely. Bidding. So there's a J somewhere. Where is this J? There it is. Ah, it's the other way around. Right. What does this lot stone want to say? The Northmen tell how the gods mourn Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief, and she dies. She's put next to her husband, Pine's lip, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Ooh. The gods cannot accept his death. So is this... No, there's chains on it. Right, back to the mask. Fa la la la. Right, let's push this bridge over. Now I can turn to the light side and find that ruin. 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 Bidding. Stop being nasty to me. Wait, what? Oh, so it is still there. What if this is pointless? What are you Ooh. doing? Another room. Why did you think you could make this work? You keep seeing runes, you see runes everywhere. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur. Weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, hmm. beasts, earth, stone, I love these stories. trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. Ooh. You remember? There we go. Yes. Oh God! And Shazam! Open the gates. Where are you, Dillian? Dillian, oh Dillian! 
Um, let's get across the beam. Dillion! Let's go get him. Yes. Dillion never much cared for the underworld. All right, there we go. Look at the face. Who believed nothing he couldn't see. <laughs> and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillion's arms. Oh, come on. See the world through his eyes. Slowly. The darkness that had bound her so tightly. We've got this. Oh. I can see this a narrow bridge. Dillion, we've made it to you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that scared me. Father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark here means the littlest word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? You give up the beautiful world. You, and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Oh, Dillion. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I know. Oh, Dillion. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. It's done. You did it, but there's more. Uh, there's more. Wow. Well, okay. That is the end of that episode. Um, we've finished one trial of Odin. In the next one, we're going to do the rest of them. But, oh, I'm loving this game. Absolutely loving it. If you are loving it too, make sure to leave a like on the video. Comment what you have enjoyed, but also what you haven't enjoyed. But most importantly, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more Senua, more Hellblade, and even more daily content. I have been Parky P, and I shall see you all next time.